giant comet will swoop by our Earth tonight, and here's how you can watch it live. One of the farthest active comets ever spotted makes its closest approach to Earth today, July 14, and you can watch it live online as well. Comet C217KP, or PANSTARS 2022, called K2 for short, is finally making its way into view of Earth after it's, uh, it was uh, first spotted by the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, PANSTARS for short, in the outer reaches of our solar system back in 2017. At the time, K2 was considered the farthest active comet ever spotted, although it was surpassed by a distant mega comet named Comet Bernardelli Bernstein last year. K2 makes its closest approach tonight on our planet, July 14, passing 168 million miles or 270 million kilometers from Earth beyond the orbit of Mars. Viewers will be able to watch the comet passing online by tuning into Virtual Telescope Project Live webcast beginning 6.15 or 22.15 GMT. And that's happening now on July 14. And you'll also be able to watch on space.com courtesy of the Virtual Telescope Project. Over the last five years, K2 has been steadily moving towards Earth. Comets, which are made of mostly frozen gas, rocks, and dust, become active as they approach the Sun, and the warming of the Sun heats the comet very quickly, causing its solid ice to turn directly into gas, a process known as sublimation, and form a cloud around the comet known as the coma. And interestingly, K2 was already active when it was first discovered in 2017, between the orbits of Saturn and Uranus, about 1.49 billion miles from the Sun, which by comparison is about 16 times farther away than the Earth is from the Sun. Initial observations showed the comet had a large nucleus and a massive coma, while the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope CFHT suggested K2's nucleus could be between 18 and 100 miles wide. Data from the Hubble Space Telescope indicated it might be only 11 miles wide, Earth Sky wrote. Therefore, the comet's upcoming close approach offers a good opportunity for professional observer observatories to measure just how big the nucleus really is. The rest of us can focus on the beauty of it passing today. Webcast viewers should expect to see a fuzzy patch of light representing the coma surrounding the comet's nucleus. And as the comet has continued its way to make its way towards the inner solar system, it has also been getting brighter during its closest approach today, July 14. The comet is expected to brighten to magnitude 8 or even 7, which unfortunately is still too dim for the unaided eye to see. According to Earth Sky, K2 will remain in telescope view throughout the summer before heading off for its closest approach to the sun, and that will happen on December 19th. This is by uh, Samantha Mathewson on Live Science. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.